Hello everyone and welcome to iSong's YouTube channel. My name is Robert and today I'm pleased to announce you that I'm starting a new series on the channel called Hum to Song, where I basically try to turn a couple of hums into entire songs. On today's episode, I'm going to turn this hum mm, 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 into Crazy mm, Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Mm, Without further ado, let's see how mm, it's done. Mm, I like that particular spot because it comes with a kick at the beginning which I'll be able to use later. Let's lower it one octave so it sounds closer to a bass. Now let's see how it sounds after sliding a few knobs. After applying the distortion plugin, we have our bass ready. Now I'm doubling the bass with the higher octave one, so I can enrich it and make the notes clearer. Now let's highlight the bass line by reusing that kick at the beginning. A couple octaves down and our first kicks are ready. Now it's time for some sort of closed hi-hats. We're going to apply the Beat Crusher plugin to crush the initial sound and extract something which sounds like a hi-hat. Now it's time for the open hi-hats. We're going to reapply the beat crusher trick to crush the sound.
Now let's apply a high pass filter to filter higher frequencies and remain with something closer to an open hi-hat. There it is. It's time for the II sound replacement. and an echo brings us closer. I'm enabling the arpeggiator and we're good to go. time for the main kicks. Lower it a couple of octaves. Rise the distortion tone and the kicks are about to kick. Here we are to the main part, the guitar. So this is our initial sound with a little reverb, but let's see what happens after we apply tone bridge. Almost guitar sound. Let's emphasize the tone bridge effect and tweak it a little bit. And our background guitar is ready. Again, use the Dublin track trick to highlight the guitar line.
just raise the middles a bit to sound it more like the original. there. Now let's record the ending guitar part. also add the sound effect prior to the guitar part. After the beat crusher and the microphaser, I think it sounds really really cool. Yep, really really cool. Finally, let's see the end result. That concludes our first episode of Harm to Song. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment, share if you think it's worth it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then, I wish you happy humming. Yeah.